as, as all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel, unlawful entry, the attempted assassination of the Archbishop, an attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No! This isn't what we were told would happen! We've been deceived! It's no, no use, use arguing. arguing. Whatever, Whatever your excuse, excuse the punishment, punishment stands. stands. May, May your souls find peace, peace as they return to the gods. Wait, Wait! Please! The goddess would never, never give you for our execution! Monster! We know, we know you've already slaughtered many, many of our fellow brethren, brethren like this. This, this concludes, concludes the investigation. Please, Please remove, remove these poor lost, lost souls, souls from our side. That's that, I suppose. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It was all the Western Church is doing. That masked knight who led the attack somehow managed to disappear without a trace. The Church of Saros clearly isn't as unified as it would hope to appear. It seems the Bishop of the Western Church was always opposed to the Church being ruled centrally from Gary Mark. Perhaps they hope to remove the Archbishop in order to completely strip the central church of its authority. Oh, that's right. Gerald mentioned that you were raised without any exposure to the church. In order to function more efficiently, the Church of Saros is split into several smaller entities. The central church is the largest, and leads the organization from Garig Mach. The western church extends from Castle Gaspar where Lord Lenato rebelled into the far west. They can be found just beyond the most renowned stronghold of the kingdom. The fortress... It seems the knights have been tasked with subduing the leaders of the Western Church. We may be given the opportunity to help them with their mission. To think, our own professor was born in Fodlan, and yet knew nothing of the church. <laughs> I never imagined explaining something so basic to an instructor of mine. You're something of a special case, are you not? How strange that the Archbishop would ask someone like that to lead her students. There's clearly more to that decision than we know. Lady Rhea is pretty scary sometimes. But to execute that whole group, just like that? It seems harsh, even for her. If one of us does something bad, I wonder what she would do to us! Professor, do you agree with the Archbishop's actions? There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in the tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its Crest Stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal.
I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the Sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Voldland would be consumed by war. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Seth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must, whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Ray Moon. Tower of Black Winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlan are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlan that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. 
He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. This skirmish involves a holy relic, and is therefore more than a single noble is capable of resolving. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. A thief with a hero's relic is worrisome, but with you at our side, I'm certain we can handle him. After all, you have the sword of the creator. It was allegedly wielded by Nemesis, the king of liberation. If the legends are true, you hold the power to stand against entire armies. A band of thieves should be nothing. Even the most elite imperial forces or the Knights of Saros could not hope to defeat you. I'm just marveling at the potential. Besides, your power does not lie solely in the sword of the creator. You are stronger and more terrifying than you realize. Professor, when we leave the monastery, will you still think of yourself as my teacher? <sighs> Never mind. I'm being thoughtless with my words. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected, there can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. the case. What is that look upon your face? I am no ghost, if that is what was on your mind. No. Uh, huh? Who's there? Professor, what are you doing here? Oh, perhaps I was talking in my sleep. Ah, uh, so you heard me then. Yes, it was a nightmare. I've had them since I was a child. Stupid, pointless dreams I can't control. It's terribly frustrating. Just my childhood. 
a time before I had realized who I was destined to become. I had a feeling you'd say that. I suppose I could try, but only if you swear not to tell a soul. I appreciate it. I dream of my older brother, paralyzed, helpless. My older sister crying for help that never came. The youngest babbling words beyond meaning. I see my family dying slowly, waiting in the darkest depths for a glimmer of light. I once had ten siblings, eight older and two younger. Such a large family, and yet I became the heir to the throne. Do you know why? Every last one of them was crippled by disease, or lost their mind, or died. I was the only one left who could inherit the throne. Things kept getting worse. The darkness kept getting darker. In the end, I was the only one who survived. The nightmares are a reminder to never forget, to never allow such terrible things to happen again. Even now, I'm the only one who can carry the weight of the Adrestian Empire. The future of the Empire, of everything, depends on me. Hmm. I shared more than I intended to. I suppose there's something in the air tonight. I've never told anyone about my past before. Please, forget I said anything. Sleep well, my teacher. Thank you. As expected. A stone? A stone. I do not understand. Yet, as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Mercedes, her face looks familiar. I am sorry that the kingdom's unrest did not stop with Lord Onato. Professor, the hero's relics are incredibly powerful. Please, be on your guard. The Western Church, the Central Church, they believe in the same goddess, but oppose one another. Fodland is a complicated place. Professor. <laughs> Swinging a sword about in the Holy Mausoleum? The potential for damage is too great to imagine. I sincerely hope the saints' coffins were not damaged. 
Were you using magic? I've heard you weren't, but... Ugh, it's torture not being able to go inside the holy mausoleum for an entire year. It's not... So, you have a crest too, eh, Professor? Does that mean you're descended from nobility? You certainly got the look for it. <laughs> I sure do wish there were more nobles like you, Professor. A teacher, a mercenary, and so very mysterious. How could a girl ever get enough? Professor! Professor! If you're heading to the kingdom, I would recommend taking a coat. It's chilly, even at this time of year. It also rains a fair bit. Don't get caught out there without protection, or you're sure to catch a cold. Aristocrats are fools, allowing their lives to be dictated by their crests. Though, I suppose I am much the same in that regard. Hey! For me? Yes, I'm actually... Aristocrats, though... would be peaceful and quiet with a sprinkle of drama to keep things interesting. But since you arrived, it's been one thing after another. Is that just a coincidence, I wonder? What do you mean? I don't like... I don't... But since... The Leicester Alliance is governed through roundtable conferences between the five most prominent allied dukes, the five great lords. First and foremost is Duke Regan, the Alliance's leader. Joining him are the heads of House Goneril, House Gloucester, and House Ordelia. Lastly, there is the newest addition, Margrave Edmund. These five each have voting power in the conferences. Before House Edmund, it was House Daphnel that was counted amongst the five. However, it is said that the head of that family relinquished their vote to House Edmund, which had only recently risen to significance. <laughs> hey, Professor! Don't you think everyone's making too big a fuss over these crests or heroes' relics or whatever they're called? How important can that stuff really be? Personally, I don't even care that I don't have a crest. I'll take muscles over crests any day. Heck! I'll take muscles over a hot meal! Actually... Hey, Professor! Good to see you, Professor! I was just... Hey, Professor! That is...
awful. Just awful what happened with the right of rebirth. The infirmary. Well, it was a mess. Things are finally calm again. And so I've come here to unwind. Let me tell you. I put all of my knowledge to use keeping those kids alive. Still, the truth of it is that when someone faces death for the first time, well, they figure out who they are. They learn if they can do it again. We can't lose them, Professor. Not to battle or to cowardice. If you can keep them going, then I will too. Think of it. The sword of the creator, belonging to the ancient king Nemesis. You have to master it as soon as you can. I can't wait to face off against such a legendary weapon. That's mine. Join me find my... about the things you did. I'm so glad Lady Ray is safe. I figure you're a great person after all, Professor. Hey, Teach, I hear you were able to use the Sword of the Creator. That means... What does that mean? Could it mean that you're a descendant of Nemesis, the King of Liberation? After all, am I? I hope you will forgive me one day. I could use your help.
Hello there. Hey! Could you help me out? Knew I could count on you. Hey there. Is this it? Is this it? There you go. Is this it? There you go. Come back anytime. Welcome. Come back soon. Hey there. Is this it? There you go. Come back anytime. Please leave Sylvain alone for the time being. The thing is, the bandit's leader who stole the relic is Sylvain's disinherited older brother. No. Yes, that's mine. Thank you very much. Hi, Prof. I've actually got plenty. I have a Hail, Professor. If I may introduce myself, I am Gilbert. My life has been spent as a dedicated knight. I am to accompany you on your assignment. I may have slowed a step in recent years, but I pledge to you the full extent of my abilities. No, Professor. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. No, no. I've heard that someone from House Gautier, one of the Kingdom of Fargus' noble families, is causing some sort of commotion. What a complete disgrace to the nobility. Hmm. Hmm. It, it's a shame. You know, I'm perfectly capable of being on my own. Hey, Professor, wait! I, um, well, I thought it might be nice to walk and talk together to the dining hall. Shall we? To be abundantly clear, this has nothing to do with my non-existent fear of ghosts. Oh, you must be bored. Fantastic, then. Do you mind, um, filling the void with some chatter? Some find silence to be a bit unsettling, after all. Okay, I confess, I am scared of ghosts. The monastery is unnerving to me at night. So, can we talk about something, please? Anything. I've noticed for quite some time now, you treat all your students equally, don't you? You've never treated me differently simply because I'm younger than the others. And I've always appreciated that. 
Isn't it rather obvious? I'm roughly two to three years younger than the rest of the class. Have you just not been paying close enough attention to those you teach? That's poor form for a professor. Oh, there! I found what I was looking for. Well, I'd better be on my way now. Good night! <laughs> The coffin of Saros in the Holy Mausoleum should have held her remains. Instead, it held the sword of the Creator. What could it mean? How could... How... Some people are unhappy because they don't have the crest they want. And some are unhappy because they have a crest they never asked for. Thank you very much. holds the title of bishop. That's not as distinguished as an archbishop, such as Lady Rhea, but it still comes with a fair amount of authority. If someone in that position plotted an assassination, I cannot help but think it must have been instigated by some outside force. There are bishops in the Eastern Church as well, but to speak frankly, they do not have much impact. They are under the influence of both the Archbishop and the Leicester Alliance, so their ability to voice grievances is quite limited. Earlier. That wasn't Lord Rodrigue, was it? House Fraldarius is a powerful noble family, linked to the founding of Fargus. Lord Rodrigue, its current leader, is a magnificent warrior. He's known as the Shield of Fargus. A dozen or so years ago, during the Northern Campaign in Strang, he performed splendidly as the King's right hand. Come to think of it, wasn't there someone from House Fraldarius amongst this year's students? brother is the leader of the bandits. House Gautier is my true home. And his. Please, Professor. He really is one of the worst people I've ever known. But we still... We share the same blood. We're still family. 
Um, um. What's up, K? You acquitted yourself honorably last month. To think they'd go into the Holy Mausoleum and assault the Goddess Tower. I cannot imagine the Western Church was acting on its own. Someone must have been helping them. As for the masked knight who escaped, his days are numbered. I hope we find him soon, so I can kill him myself. Huh. I am Rodrigue Achille Fraudarius. I bear the great honor of serving as a lord in the kingdom of Fargus. I have come in Margrave Gautier's stead to retrieve their stolen relic. However, as I hear it, a group of students is to attend to this matter. I sincerely hope no harm comes to any of them. my first time to the Kingdom's North. I hear the people of North are cold and have much loneliness. Professor, I hear you have had work, uh, have worked as a mercenary in the Kingdom. Did you find joy in this? You cannot remember? Does that have any possibility? Good amazement. This is, this relic was stolen. If this had something to do with a family conflict, I don't think I could choose a side. I think I'd be a pretty good judge of that. I know relics aren't easy to come by, but I'd still like to get my hands on one. What's this? What's it? What's it? relic to be stolen. It's unheard of. And just last month, the sword of the creator was almost stolen too. Also quite unheard of. What impudence. For House Gautier to invite us onto their land, they must be desperate. But at least we'll have the stalwart knights ready to stand around and watch us do all the work. Almost. For a human. And also for how, but at least.
You guys have it bad in your own way. But believe me when I say, we've got it bad too. With all that happened last month, a great many knights were dispatched to the Western Church, and now we must set out for the Eastern Church, located in the far east of the Lesser Alliance. If I must die in Alliance territory, I wish it wasn't in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. I'd much rather go on a sightseeing trip to Deirdre. Oh, you don't know? Deirdre is House Regan's domain. It's called the Aquatic Capital. Okay. I've had a chance to spar with Gilbert of the Knights of Saros before. I couldn't get a single strike in. If that man is accompanying you on your assignment, you can rest assured that no harm will come to you. To be honest, he kind of reminds me of someone. But no, it must be my imagination, right? Isn't it strange? St. Saros' body was missing from her coffin, but they found a sword in its place. Do you think she moved from her coffin and left the sword behind? Did you? Did you? Oh, I'm already... You've helped me so much. The monastery was some plot devised by the Western Church? That means they used Lenato. What right do they have to drag a good man like him into their schemes? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? I'm really flattered. Concerned? If there's a problem, I want to help any way I can. He did, but he just dodged the question. Still, it's worrying to see him like that. Some... Someone... Some... Hey, I hope we get a chance... I know I'm gonna... Crest of Flames? Could it really? Yes, the actual Crest of Flames! No, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. 
subject, I must remain objective in my research. Objective. Professional. <sighs> the scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along, and yet... I'm not sh I'm not Don't you think Professor Hammond's been acting a bit strange? Maybe he's made some kind of big discovery. attempt on Lady Rhea, the theft of a hero's relic. I am up to my ears in foul news of recent. Speaking of, there's a terrifying rumor swirling around Garrett Mox these days. Apparently, a spirit of death wielding a huge scythe has been kidnapping young maidens. Will the madness never end? rather bewildered by the power that was hidden with however know that i believe in you i have no doubt that you will use that power justly you will most certainly fulfill the grand destiny that the goddess has seen fit to grant you may i ask a favor of you may i ask a favor of you To have been, I am grateful. Of course. Great. was looking for you. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was. 
using magic? I'll let Something about visiting a grave. There's a graveyard attached to the monastery, so you'll probably find him there. I can't remember where the graveyard is, but I bet Sedith knows. Oh. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Well done. You have my thanks. Delicious. I appreciate it. Hello. 
the best. It also re a lot. Huh? Mm -hmm.